So, cryptocurrency right now, we all love to see it. What's happening with cryptocurrency right now, guys? We all love to see it right now, okay? If you are obviously invested into cryptocurrency right now, you'd love to see it, okay? We all love to see what is happening with crypto right now, you know what I mean? What's happening with crypto right now is obviously we are having a pump, a decent pump up, right? And Bitcoin, Ethereum, right? And other old coins in the market right now is still looking pretty good. You know what I mean? We are still in the greens. We haven't seen a dump yet, right? But pretty much we are all, right? The whole market right now for crypto is still looking pretty decent, okay? And in this video, I wanna talk about it, you know what I mean? And we're still looking pretty well, you know what I mean? Right now, guys, Bitcoin, let me show you guys. Bitcoin right now is pumping more than Ethereum, okay? It was the opposite. We saw that yesterday. If you guys haven't seen my video from yesterday, we saw, right, that yesterday, even the day before that, that Ethereum was pumping so much more than Bitcoin, right? Ethereum was literally pumping so much more than Bitcoin. As you can see, if I show you guys for the past 24 hours, Bitcoin has pumped um, almost 8% right there, as you can see. And Ethereum, on the other hand, has been pumping over 3%. Now, if we go to the seven days right here, as you can see, Bitcoin has been pumping over 16% for the past week. And then for Ethereum, it's been pumping over 42%, almost 43% for the past seven days. So obviously, Ethereum has, pumping, has been pumping so much more than you know, Bitcoin for the past seven days. Now, if we go to the 30 days right here for the month, pretty much, I just see Bitcoin has been up over 14% and Ethereum has been up over 38%, right? So pretty much this just shows you guys that, you know, some altcoins in the market pretty much does its own thing. Like, yes, majority of the time, whatever Bitcoin is doing, if it's pumping, then pretty much the whole market will follow what Bitcoin is doing, right? Um, if Bitcoin is dumping, if it's crashing, then pretty much the whole market will follow and it will dump with it. But sometimes, guys, old coins do, in fact, do its own thing. You guys have to understand this, right? For example, we saw Polygon, right? Absolutely pumping for the seven days for Polygon, right? For seven days, okay? For the past week, Polygon has been up over 60%. And as you can see, for the past 30 days for Polygon, it is up over 100%, 136%. Right, this morning we saw it at 158%. So that is absolutely crazy. And um, yeah, this just shows you guys that pretty much altcoins, right, do in fact do its own thing. Majority, not majority of the time, but most, you know, most of the time, right? But yeah, guys, whatever Bitcoin is doing, pretty much the altcoins will in fact follow with it, right? So that is why it is really important to see what Bitcoin is doing, you know what I mean? Because pretty much the whole market will follow what Bitcoin is doing. And Bitcoin right now, right, is absolutely skyrocketing. You guys can see that, right? Earlier this morning, if you guys haven't seen the video that I posted yesterday, right, um, we saw a pump up, you know what I mean? And right here, yes, Bitcoin was in fact pretty much consolidating right here, okay, as you guys can see. But right now, it looks like Bitcoin is in fact breaking out, you know what I mean? You guys can see that, right? So Bitcoin right now is looking pretty good obviously someone right now is of course buying bitcoin okay and obviously i feel like at this time okay a lot of fomo is going to happen okay let me just show you guys this real quick the whole market right now is pretty much in the greens right a lot of old coins is in fact pumping xrp up over four percent cardano up over ten percent right solana okay it's not looking too good for solana but it has been pumping Look at this, for the seven days, Solana is up over 30%. Dogecoin is now at 10 cents, okay? AUD, these are AD prices, by the way, guys. Dogecoin is up almost 12%. Polkadot, 3%. Polygon, over 3%. Avalanche, 7%. Shiba Inu, 11%, right? Litecoin, over 2%. FTX, over 3%. Chainlink, you guys know I'm a huge fan of Chainlink, up over 6%, right? XLM, 2%. Algo, 3%, VeChain, over 7%, almost 8%, ApeCoin, 9%. So yeah, a lot of altcoins right now in the market is in fact having a pump right now, guys. So this is obviously something great to see. And I feel like during these times right now, okay, since everything is pumping up, obviously, right, a lot of people are in fact going to FOMO in. You know what I mean? For some odd reason, when we have pumps like this, right, okay, 
a lot of people like to FOMO in. They don't like to buy when everything is crashing. And obviously, when it's dipping, when it's crashing hard, guys, that is the time to buy. When it's pumping, right, like these, right, when it's pumping up, that's pretty much when you want to take profits, okay? But for some odd reason, a lot of people like to do the complete opposite, you know what I mean? It's just how we, um, you know, work, you know what I mean? That's just how our brain works for some reason, you know what I mean? A majority of people that are invested into cryptocurrency like to FOMO in. And I'm not going to lie to you guys, you know what I mean? When I first started investing into crypto, I used to FOMO in. You know what I mean? I did, right? Um, so it's just how we operate. You know what I mean? It's just how our brain works. You know what I mean? And it's fine. You know what I mean? But we live and we learn. You know what I mean? I learned my mistake, like a huge, um, you know, lesson, you know, with FOMO. Um, but yeah, lesson learned. You know, there are times where you should not FOMO in. And right now, guys, would I be buying crypto? Honestly, I wouldn't. That's just me though, you know, I'm going to be waiting for a dump. I really do believe that maybe in a few weeks time, maybe even a few months time, we will in fact see another crash, a major crash. You guys have to understand, you know, interest rates rising, inflation, you guys know this is absolutely rising as well. So obviously this is going to, you know, you know, affect the markets, right? Crypto market and of course the stock market as well. But let me just show you guys real quick the fear and greed index okay a few hours ago yesterday i showed you guys that it was in fact at 30 right uh yesterday it was in fact at 30 right now it's at 31 as you guys can see right there so it is in fact slightly going up okay so this is the fear and greed index right now for the crypto markets at 31 it's still at fear okay it's no longer at extreme fear so this is obviously um something great to see for a change right because we have been seeing um it, extreme fear for a while now you know what i mean we really have right so obviously this is something great to see now you know what i mean it's slightly going up right now okay so this is something great to see but yes guys crypto right now okay what's happening with crypto right now we love to see it right we all love to see what's happening with crypto right now you know what i mean and i told you guys as many times whether okay i don't care whether the whole crypto market is dumping or it's pumping no matter what, I am always bullish, guys. And you guys may think to yourself, right? You may ask the question, how can you be bullish when the market is dipping, when it's dumping? Well, that's just a buying opportunity right there. You know what I mean? It's a buying opportunity right there. So obviously, I buy the dips. And when it's pumping, pretty much I take profits, right? But majority of the time, guys, you know, I can't help it. I like to be greedy. You know what I mean? And do this for long term with my investments into cryptocurrency right now, you know, and of course, mainly Bitcoin and Ethereum, my two biggest holdings. I like to hold my investments into those two cryptocurrencies specifically long term, right? Um, because obviously, I really do believe Bitcoin is going to be staying here forever. It's not going to go anywhere. Of course, you know what I mean? It's the original cryptocurrency. It's the OG, right? Same with Ethereum. It's the second largest cryptocurrency. Right, so I really do believe that Bitcoin and Ethereum, they're not gonna go anywhere. They're here to stay forever. So that is why I am mainly investing into Bitcoin and Ethereum, and I am mainly hodling forever for a really long period of time, you know what I mean? But other than that, you know, with my other investments into cryptocurrency, I'm planning on taking profits, right? But on that guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video um, right now. Yeah, everything's looking pretty well. You guys let me know in the comments down below right what do you guys think you know what i mean are you guys loving what you're seeing right now with the whole crypto market let me know i mean of course you are you know what i mean it's finally um you know bitcoin and the whole crypto market is finally pumping up you know what i mean we saw that dump that we've been having even this year alone you know 2022 like the whole market the whole crypto market was in fact majority of the time dumping yes we had a few pumps but majority of the time we've been going down okay so finally we are seeing a pump guys this is obviously something great to see you guys let me know in the comments below are you guys taking profits let me know in the comments below i'd love to know and let me know guys did you guys buy bitcoin when it was below thirty thousand dollars right because right now it's above 30k ad right not usd ad prices right um but you guys let me know okay so on that guys i'm ending here i hope you guys enjoyed it give it a thumbs up and of course subscribe to the channel if you guys have not yet already, I really would appreciate that. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.